Hey guys, Sarah here for Little Bits and Bricks and welcome back to our next Lego City update. So really, um, at this point, we're still just building up modules. You'll see that our table is quickly filling in and it's getting harder and harder to um, reuse the table for other things by moving modules around. So we're, it's really fun to, to say that we're filling in the city. We added two more modules this week. I'm not sure if you can notice which two those are, but my husband actually built Assembly Square. Push this one out. We don't have them connected yet, but he, he worked on building Assembly Square and there is a, <laughs> there's a creator three in one little uh, toy ride up on top there. I'm not sure that's a very safe place for someone to ride on top of a toy rocket, but it works. Uh, so he built this one up. I think this one is just an amazing module. I love the details. I love all the different shops that are included in this one. Uh, my friend's a dental hygienist and there's a dentist chair in there. I love the ballerina that's looking into the mirror. Uh, just so many beautiful, awesome little builds and the wedding cake and really even the little people on top of the wedding cake made out of uh, little studs. It just looks so good I, you look at it and you think bride and groom and then you look at it again and you're like well that's just like three little bricks but it works so he built that one and then i built the bookshop which i think is also a whole lot of fun i love the spiral staircase inside i love all the the book themed elements i love the little townhouse and hopefully we'll do a review on each one of these so we can really go through the details of each one, but now I'm really just trying to find a way to place these in the city. Um, since we don't have all of our modules built yet, and make sure you check out some of the halls of recent modules we've, we've got ready to build because we've got some awesome ones. Um, I don't quite know where I want them all to go. I know that if I put Assembly Square in, uh, I'm only going to have half a half a base plate left on one side. So we actually thought we would stick it here. Um, first, my husband had uh, the Parisian restaurant next to the diner. And I thought that we didn't need to have the fancy food next to the diner food. That didn't look right. So we thought we'd put the shops in the middle. And then, um, and then he had, I think he had uh, the diner next, but I actually like, the bookstore next um so i made an executive decision like i do a lot around here uh to move this over and then i had oh wait i don't want these little pins on this side though if you want to push them together so come on now so we got that and then we, so we have basically, he, what do we do next? Um, we had to, he took off a piece of the Spring Lantern Festival. So he took off the half base plate extra because the Spring Lantern Festival is actually a, um, is a modular unit on a base plate and a half. And so I think we just, we were just thinking about sliding this over here for now just to sort of finish up the street. And then we still have our science museum, uh, which I'll take you on a little tour of the city in just a moment. Here's our science museum that is an alternate build of the London Tower Bridge. And you can actually find a lot of alternate builds on rebrickable.com. So if you don't wanna go back and get those retired modules to fill in your city, but you'd love to have more buildings, you can actually pick up additional sets of the corner garage, of the bookshop, of Assembly Square, all current modules, and turn them into other types of buildings. So that is also something we're going to be doing in the near future for our city, because I do just love building the buildings. So I think this is a pretty good layout so far. It's really the best we can do at this point because we don't have them all made. And I have to kind of keep picking everything up and putting it back, but we're getting to a point where that's really just not practical anymore at all. And I do have a table waiting here on the side, but unfortunately, Ikea did not have extra legs for their tables. So again, my husband has table legs. I'm trying to convince 
him to let me have because what we want to do is actually put a table over here and have some of the municipal buildings on there such as the fire brigade which we own the town hall which i'm seeking and oh maybe the corner garage would go up there maybe the brick bank all right so if we put our roads back down i'm looking forward to when the city can just kind of live in its spot right now it can't quite do that but one day it will be able to and then i actually what do we we have the cars, we have the uh, sort of Rolls Royce type car that came with the Palace Cinema. We have the diner's pink car. We have the new vintage car with the surfboards that do not stay on very well. This is definitely the one thing that's a little frustrating with these vintage cars, are these surfboards that don't cook on tightly. All right, have to get out that craggle, huh? Um, and then I just recently picked up this taxi cab. I don't know if you guys have seen this creator taxi cab in the store. It's set 40468. Um, it's kind of odd. I, I think that it was made to go with the opening of Legoland in New York. And we actually look pretty, not pretty close to it, but close enough that we will be checking that out. So this is actually just a brick built taxi cab. A minifigure cannot sit inside it. Um, and this actually reminds me of kind of the car style from back when I was a kid with the sort of clear, uh, the translucent slope pieces that, you know, are kind of sanded on one side. Uh, so it, it fits, scale wise, it fits great. Um, I do have, I do have the camper that I'm looking forward to putting in. I did recently pick up this city car. And then I actually have two more, vintage cars so that's those are some things that i plan to add to the city i also want to go back and grab more of the uh, retired campers um, and things like that too i'm really i'm really into right now um sets that are retired i'm looking for a lot of the residential houses that are retired right now that's really kind of my thing so i really want to have a table in the city when we have a bigger space that's a residential section with, uh, with a lot of those different kinds of houses that um, I th have been retired now for a few years. I want to have um, a campground section because I have the tree house and I would love to have the campers over there and a big mountain and a lake. But first we're just working on filling up the rest of the table and modules. I have space for one, two, three, four, five spots. What do we got here? One. I think they're all here. Two, three, four, five. So let's see. I'm thinking we've got the pet shop. I have the detective's office. I, in my latest haul, I picked up the Grand Emporium, I think that would be good on this street. Uh, what else? The Brick Bank might be good on this street so the, the minifigs can go and get their money to purchase things in the shop. And then um, up on another table, I think we'll have the Fire Brigade and the Town Hall. And one day I'll have the Green Grocer and Cafe Corner. But until then, we'll have to wait on those. And then actually the corner garage, I've seen this really cool alternate build where you can take two of them and turn it into a hospital. So I'm really looking forward to that one. You can take another one and turn it into a pharmacy. And then you can take another one and turn it into a, a pub. And then you can actually take another bookshop and turn it into an inverted corner for an antique store. So that I've seen that made already. That looks pretty cool. And I have, um, I have Sesame Street, actually, that can turn into a modular building. And I have the Central Perk, which uh, can turn into another building. And I actually just recently picked up a Central Perk set to try that mock this coming week. So I'll be interested to see what that turns out like, and I'll share that with you as well. I did recently take a classic... 
uh, classic uh, box set and turn it into a modular. There's a video up on that. And uh, this is, there's a lot of neat ways you can add modules to the building. So what I'll do right now is I will take you on just a tour from a different perspective of the town and we'll see how the city's growing. I pretty much think that I'm done moving it off the table every time I need to do something because I know we'll have a couple more modules pretty quick that are gonna be on the table and I really have nowhere else to continue to move them. All right, so let's take a tour of this. Let's get a bird's eye view here of the city. Uh, I do have a couple names in the process, but we thought it would be fun to wait until we were ready to add the town hall into the city before we gave it an official name. So kind of kicking off the city with the town hall and uh, a name just sounded like a fun way to sort of announce the city's arrival because certainly once we get to that point, we are not gonna be able to just keep moving this everywhere. So one of our latest modulars that we acquired that was retired was the Palace Cinema. And that one, I really do love, I love the, um, the names of the movies. And this is the only one with stickers, which I personally love. I don't love stickers, I love it's the only one with stickers. And like I said, I'd like to be able to open up each one inside and do a nice little review and show them all off in detail to you at some point. So the next one we have is the diner. So my husband built these two and he was really amazed at the difference in the amount of detail on the interior of the diner from the palace. Definitely as they uh, got, they, the newer ones have more detail for sure. And this one actually inside has a boxing ring and we ended up missing one piece of the um, poles that went around the ring. And my husband's like a masterpiece finder and he just could not find that one piece. So, and we haven't found it since. So I actually went on to lego.com and you can look, you can ask for a replacement piece. So I just put it in and boom, uh, a lot quicker than a lot of my other orders. We got this tiny little package with a replacement piece in it. So he stuck that in there already. And next is the assembly square. As I mentioned, I love those flowers. I love that fountain. Oh, this is just really a fabulous building. And I do really love that wedding cake inside and the little pretzel out front. And then we move down to the one that I made next, which is the, the uh, Birch Books, the bookshop and the, the little townhouse next to it. And I do, I know the tree, a lot of people think the tree is a nuisance. I, I kind of like it myself. And we've got some people, I'm trying to keep the figs with their, their sets just so I don't lose them in the shuffle. And then over here, it can feel a little bit hard to get in. We have our Parisian restaurant, which is a beautiful retired modular. This is the first retired modular that I was able to purchase. And then I'm gonna scoot in here and we have just the portion of the Spring Lantern Festival here. Let's see if we can do a, a top down view or I can sneak around to the side here. And there's a beautiful little gazebo and I don't know if the whole thing will actually stay in the city, but it's a nice way to fill in that leftover space that Assembly Square creates. And then if we come back around here, here's our Science Museum. So this again was from the London Tower Bridge set. So I did go on eBay for that and purchased a used set. So that was, a, I looked back, it was about $120 plus 20 shipping. So, and not a bad price for a modular for sure. It's, um, it's definitely a little bit of a different build than the other modulars, but inside, I'll, I'll show that off one day too. There are dinosaurs in there. And then you can see my little lineup of cars. Here is that interesting little taxi car that a minifig cannot get into. It's completely brick built. There are no doors that open, but it does have that nice, um, those nice sticker elements on the top that have a nod to New York City and New York, so uh, yeah, it fits. It's not awesome, actually. Uh, a Lego friend of mine, Tanjam on rubricable.com has a very sweet taxi that he designed and I'm hoping to get the pieces for those soon. He also has a police car as well. So I'll make sure to put a link to that below as well so that you can take a look at that. I would highly recommend adding those cars to your city, especially if you love like the vintage car here. You can also get 
Rebrickable.com has different models for the vintage car. So you can take one, the one set and turn it into, I think like 12 other cars. And I ended up with a bunch of these. So I will have a bunch of different cars to share. And then you've got this awesome pink car from the diner. This looks so classic there. And then the last car that I have is of course the, uh, I'm calling it a Rolls Royce. I might be wrong. You can let me know if I'm wrong, but I think that's, that's what it looks like. So yeah, so that is our city. Give you a, a big grand view of it here. You know, I don't know how it'll evolve and change over time. I can definitely see it's gonna probably have uh, maybe a good six tables to it. You know, maybe we'll slide in a winter village somewhere in there. But you can see that I've got a bunch of retired modulars down here waiting to be built. It's pretty cool, so I'm excited about that. We have a lot to add to the city. Um, we have the blacksmith, not sure if that will really go into the city or not, but at the moment, this is our latest city update. So again, on this update, we added Assembly Square, we added the bookshop, and we added that funny little yellow taxi. So catch us again in the next city update. Uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, make sure to join us in the next video. Have a good one.